Florida CBS 4 News. Now at six, computer glitches and delays lead the state to announce the results of new standardized tests will not determine whether some students get promoted. The changes will affect thousands of students in Florida, especially third graders. Standardized tests they took earlier this year will not determine their future. CBS 4's Gary Nelson explains. The rollout of the new Florida standardized assessment test could be the poster child for testing failure. The computerized exams were plagued by software meltdowns and delays to the extent that results for third graders will not count against their being promoted. The tests were given too late. Hundreds of thousands of other Florida students can breathe a sigh of relief. The state concedes it has not properly evaluated required year-end exams in Algebra 1, 2, and Geometry. Those tests, too, will not be used to determine if a student is promoted. The state has gone too far too fast regarding the accountability and the deployment of this very new assessment, and I think we're seeing the consequences of that. And in Broward. We see the evidence now that uh, the state has rushed through this, given the challenges that we noted throughout the year. For students, the stress has been palpable amid a flawed system that's consumed their time and will grade them, their schools, and teachers. If you get locked out multiple times, you eventually have to restart your test and you'll spend like an entire day in there and you mess out like on all the stuff you're doing in your regular classes. The legislature so far has resisted calls for a do-over. They should have used this year as a as an experimental year, but they decided to move ahead in a way that would see the experimental year, the so-called baseline development year, as a true assessment year, and that was a mistake. Some good news, the legislature allowed school systems to eliminate scores of end-of-year course tests. Miami-Dade alone got rid of 300, yes, 300 time-consuming and, in the district's view, unnecessary exams. You can bet there will be an ongoing backlash against lawmakers who have been consumed by a testing mania. Increasingly, parents, teachers, and administrators are demanding a system that measures performance but keeps testing at a necessary but minimum level. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.